In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Sporty's Rocket Crab Snare, a crab snare design that's proudly made in Oregon since 1999. Now, if you're not familiar with crab snaring, it's a fun method of taking crabs using a rod and reel. Traditional crab snare designs consist of a small wire bait cage with lassos, so when a crab comes up to the bait and feeds on the bait, with any luck, when you pull the bait cage in, you'll snag the crab along with it. Now, traditional crab snare bait cages are normally made out of metal, but the Rocket Crab Snare is made out of a plastic mesh, and it comes with seven loops. Now, in California, where I'm at, legally, the maximum amount of loops you can have is six, so I simply cut off an extra loop just to stay legal. Here's what the extra loop looks like cut off. Now, why is it called the Rocket Crab Snare? Well, you cast it with your rod and reel, and you add a rock for weight. So this is a nice cheap way to uh, add weight to your crab snare, and you definitely need weight because you need it to stay planted to the bottom of the ocean where the crabs are. You want them to have every opportunity to come to your bait cage and feed. Now I typically add you know, anywhere between three to six ounces of lead weight because uh, lead takes up a lot less space than rocks, but you know, if I wanted to be cheap, if I wanted to be economical, I could totally add a rock. So let's take the Sporty's Rocket Crab Snare to the coast and see if it'll catch a crab. The first thing you notice when you pick up a rocket crab snare is just how big it is. It really does have a much higher bait capacity compared to a traditional crab snare. Sure, yeah, you could pack it with bait and leave it in the water longer, but because it has such a high surface area, it really makes it difficult to cast. I really couldn't cast this crab snare very far compared to my other smaller crab snares. And because it's made out of plastic, anywhere that the loops and leader line connect to the plastic is an opportunity for failure. I can easily see a large crab or a miscast breaking the snare off. And if you look at the end of the crab snare where you put the bait, you'll notice that it doesn't really have a secure way of closing. There's no bait pin, there's no traditional crab door. Really the only thing that holds the two ends together is by passing the leader line through both ends and depending on the weight of the snare to pinch it shut. And here we have the Sporty's crab snare. Again, it's not a wire snare. Uh, it's, you know, like the ones that are commonly used uh, out here at the pier. Um, it's a plastic mesh bag uh, that comes with seven loops, but by California law, the maximum amount of loops you can have is six. So I cut off the seventh one, which is here. Uh, let's see how it does at the Pacific Pier. Uh, I got a five ounce pyramid weight. This valve's pretty big today. So I'm gonna use this five ounce weight to keep it planted. Let's see how it casts and let's see uh, how it compares to uh, your traditional wire crab snare. Now I put about 10 total casts on the rocket crab snare. Two of those times I had a crab on but lost them right at the surface of the water. And on the 11th cast, this is what happened. Well, there it goes. Now, as you can imagine, I was totally disappointed with the performance of the Rocket Crab Snare. It didn't even make it to the 11 cast. You know, for six or seven dollars, I would expect something to last longer than a day. Traditional metal wired bait cages can handle the stresses of repeated casts over and over. You know, if you're casting seven to eight ounces of weight and lead, you want something that's going to, you know, perform and have some durability. Now, the Rocket Crab Snare definitely isn't it. Gone. And here's what's left of the Sporty's Rocket Crab Snare, just the leader that tore through the plastic meshing during the final cast. Now I've seen a lot of different crab snares, and this one by far is the least durable one I've ever seen, maybe the worst one that I've ever used. So if you're looking for another crab snare, I suggest you look elsewhere. 